Hey, what's up, guys? It's Jake Co. And Bob Webb. And welcome to um, the uh, TTS podcast episode three. <gasps> oh my god! Episode three. Oh yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. we did two of these already. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. And uh, this one, we just talk about general news, which um, has just come up, and we thought, wow, that's actually really cool to talk about, and really interesting, so we're just going to get straight into it, aren't we, Bobby? Yeah, we are indeed. We are. So, um, what are you going to be talking about first, then, Jake? Because, so, um, uh, obviously, Jake's got everything ready, so, yeah, what, what yeah. are you going to be talking about first? Well, the first one... Uh, which is actually a kind of funny story in some ways, because uh, we, we were actually talking about this two days ago, and we was all like, because um, as you know, uh, Harmonix announced the new Rock Band game is being made for Xbox One and PS4, um, and me and Bobby are like, oh man, I wish I'd make another Guitar Hero game, because me and Bobby play Guitar Hero. Yeah, and we're then both very big fans of Guitar Hero, but not really Rock Band, are we, particularly? And then, but... and then Activision were all like, yep, yeah, we're making a Guitar Hero game for Xbox One and PS4. And it was just like, mm. what? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Which, like, because, sort of like you were saying, like, for so long we've both been saying that there's been room in, in the console market for, like, a new current gen on Xbox One and PS4, like, rhythm game, because there isn't one. There's there's, there's been no Guitar Hero, no Rock Bands, and now both of them have pretty much said that, that, that they're making one, which is cool, because we're both big Guitar Hero fans, aren't we, Jake? So Yeah. It, I know, it's weird, because, you know, there, there's opinions that, oh, I prefer Rock Band, Ugh, I prefer Guitar Hero. I've played them both, and I can generally say I prefer Guitar Hero. I think it yeah. just runs smoother. <laughs> like, <laughs> like I don't know. It, it's weird because I I put this to the test. I bought a song on Rock Band Three, um, and this song I bought was on Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock, right? Yeah, and. It's a pretty difficult song. It's not crazy difficult, but, you know, it does take, you know, some effort. And I could play this song, like, no problem on Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock. On Rock Band, the other hand, though, I can't do it. I I, I fail, yeah. I fail. I can't do it. Well, and that first that's what all, I mean. It's it's weird. Well, first like, of all, I didn't I didn't even realise that you even had rock bands at all. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't even know that because obviously I had rock bands and, and guitar heroes. But I can say as well that I I always prefer guitar hero. But one thing yeah. I always found is that I found rock bands a lot easier than guitar hero. But I found it too easy. I did really. I I, I can't hit yeah. the notes on rock band. On what? I, I think it's the square. I think it's because I'm so used to the circle. <laughs> I I, squares, I, just like, oh. I just mess it up because it's a square now. If you, <laughs> I know really? it's weird, but it, yeah, weird. I can't. Yeah. I can't do rock band. It's, no, it's like, weird. I must say that overall, I found rock bands a lot easier, and like, I found it too easy compared to Guitar Hero because I like the challenge more of Guitar Hero. But I found yeah, rock band guitar, very easy. Guitar Hero has like, you know, the crazy guitar riffs as well, rock band is more like, of a family. Like it. it puts out yeah. songs what are like popular if you get what i mean yeah, like, which, it doesn't even have but, like an amazing guitar or bass or anything it just well, it's just a popular you song say that, on there. but one thing i've always thought that rock band wins in was it had better dlc and more of it, it did. oh yeah that's the, only, that's the only thing that was better like, about rock bands rock band had like over three thousand songs for dlc yeah. it was just like crazy <laughs> oh shit <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> really yeah, like, bastard. that was the only bad thing about Guitar Hero that it didn't have as much DLC as Rock Band. But honestly, other than that, I, f- I feel that I always prefer Guitar Hero. Like, I love Guitar Hero 3, 5, Warriors of Rock. All three of them were yeah. awesome. And, like, I've, I had pretty much every Guitar Hero game between 3 up until Warriors of Rock, which was the last one they did. Well, near yeah. enough. I had every Guitar Hero game apart from one, which was uh, Guitar Hero Van Halen. And that was it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Other than that, I played every single one, including Band Hero. I did. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, wow. <laughs> but, 
But yeah, I must admit, is... I am pretty hyped for one coming to Xbox One like, yeah, and PS4, of course. I so. don't know, because well, they're supposedly supposed to be announcing it at E3, which, yeah, probably. I mean, they've already yeah. said that it's going to be announced, but the rumour to that is that it's actually going to come out this year, at the <gasps> end of this year. No way. But no. Activision it's, it's have out. said... It's... Activision coming out this year. have said we don't comment on rumours. So... Oh, okay. You know, you don't know so if that's yeah, true or not. It. But yeah, that's, that's that. A new Guitar Hero game and a new Rock Band game coming. Yeah. So... I, I must... I am excited for that. But yeah, let's let's move on. So what's the next topic, Jakinson? I, I think... Okay. You told me, didn't you? So uh, this is something you would take the lead role on I guess because I never actually <laughs> played the beta of this game which is never winter an Xbox Pokemon. One I'll, I'll never MMO win. coming out on the 31st of March finally yes yes uh, and like literally I'm pretty certain this is the first ever real MMO to come to consoles like I say real MMO because Destiny's classed as an, as an MMO but I don't really class it <laughs> as one yeah because it's crap but, um, <laughs> sorry <laughs> but yeah like it's the first real mmo to come to consoles and it's only coming to xbox one it's um it come out on pc a couple years ago and it's called neverwinter based in the dungeon and dragons universe which yeah. sounds kind of weird but it's generally really good and um what's even better about it is that once it comes out it's going to be free to play to everyone who has xbox live gold on xbox one which is awesome and um yes like Jake was saying, I was lucky enough to play in the closed beta, um, probably about a month ago now, and and obviously Jake didn't didn't get didn't get the chance to play it sadly. But um, the beta was I didn't awesome. sign up for it. You did like oh, I, I <laughs> well, yeah no. I didn't sign up for it. Well, I tell you what, because I just looked at it and I was just like, I really like because at that <laughs> time I had so many betas I signed up for and got. The truth. The trailer looked kind of shitty, dude. And just didn't even bother with it because I was just like, whatever. Well, you should and have done, I, I, I guess awesome. that just come out and I just looked at it and I was like, whatever. But, <laughs> but like, honestly, um, but then, everyone's uh, opinion you... who played the beta was so positive and it was really good and it's fun. And the fact that it's going to be free is even better. So I genuinely can't wait for that. If you have an Xbox One... Keep, keep that date in mind, the 31st of March, when that comes out, because I'm, I'm going to be playing that a shitload. I know, I mean, like, I mean that. this is just something I want to bring up. I know it's free, and I, like, you know, they got to make money somehow, so there's obviously going to be microtransactions, which, you know, yeah. fair enough. If the game's free, they got but, to make money somehow. But I'm yeah. worried, is there any... I suppose we don't know, but I'm hoping that they don't put shitty microtransactions what make you OP over money. No. No, it's not. Like, um, I hate microtransactions like that. Okay. It's stupid. I actually know about this. I do, like, already I do. Um, with the microtransactions, they're purely cosmetic. Okay. And uh, the only player-enhancing thing you can buy, I think, are uh, rideable mounts. So, like, horses. But that's it. Right. And all that does is means you can just get about faster. That's that's it. Okay. Other than that, it's just purely sort of, sort of like different outfits and stuff like that. that okay, don't yeah, because do I was hoping that they wouldn't it's be just, like, just, ooh, just cosmetic. Is. pay like three pounds to go up ten levels. Ooh, no, no, like, no, you no. know, that no. sort of shit, what some games do. It's just annoying. No, nothing like that. Nothing like okay. that. Because, um... I actually, I actually asked them about this. Like, I, I actually personally asked them about it, and they were actually nice enough to actually get back to me, and they actually t- told me that. So, yeah. Okay. Which was actually really nice of them. On to the next thing, and... Oh, my God. I think the whole world almost collapsed when this news was announced. What? Fallout 4? Rockstar. Four? Rockstar. Yeah, that's, that's all I've got to say. Next news. Rockstar. Right. Oh, guitar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rockstar have, oh my god they finally announced heists coming oh. to consoles yes finally what do you mean coming to consoles it's, it's, it's only been on consoles so far 
Well, the, I, yeah, fuck off. <laughs> well, I don't know. They they probably won't even be on PC then, because it does. That's what it says yeah. come into console. So they maybe probably... it won't be on PC straight away. I don't, I no, don't know. No, they're, I don't know. they're just saying that because obviously when the highest come out, the PC v- version won't be available, will it? So. Oh uh, yeah. That's why. Anyway, Jesus, this is but... s- I. I am so angry with them. I'm not. And I know. Just hear me out before you start getting all fanboy bumboy over it. I am not impressed with Rockstar how they handled this. Well, I'm not impressed. I do see what they you mean because promised over a year ago now, like a year and a half ago, before yeah, the game came out, this is what they advertised pi- saying it would be in the game when it came out. Yeah, this is what pissed a lot of people off when GTA Online was announced. They said that heists were going to be in it from the fucking get-go. Then they vanished off the face of the earth and that was it. No one heard anything from it. And then they suddenly magically, like, I think it was like a few months ago. I think it was back in November, actually, 2014 of November. They released, like, a minute trailer I think of, that was like, in, um, heists. In December, I think it was. Yeah, just just saying, yeah, they're still being made, don't worry, they're still being made and they're coming soon. And that that was it. It was like a minute long. And three months saying, later, they still haven't soon. come out. But they finally announced the date, which is March 10th. So hopefully they will come out like, then. Hopefully they won't get held back like, or anything. I know, I know that things can happen in games. I know that sometimes it doesn't go smooth ride and, you know, they need to delay stuff. But you cannot advertise and say that heist will be in it from the get-go. And then not still release it after a freaking year. A whole year. Yeah, that is very strange. That's a joke. Yeah, like, well, what and I that's the thing, like, though, what annoyed What annoyed me so much is that they were so quiet about it. They didn't even mention a word about it, you know. They were just, uh... Well, like... Alright, yeah... But they, they're coming finally. What, what I must say, though, <laughs> what, what I don't understand is that, like, the heists, although they may be, hopefully, they'll be really good, obviously, once they come out, but I don't understand how it took them so long for them to make it because they surely can't be that advanced, can they? Because it's, it's obviously built in the same game engine. It seems crazy that it's taken them this long to make them. I, I don't you know. know. Obviously, they obviously had fucking shitloads well, of problems well, with yeah, them must to have not have him for a year. Yeah. <laughs> and like, well, but what makes me think as well is that, that, well, because one thing I want to talk about, it's been awesome that they've done all these free updates to GTA Online, including the heist. Obviously, they, obviously, of course, they're going to be free as yeah, well. Yeah. But what I'm wondering is, will Rockstar start working on paid DLC for GTA Five? So like new story DLC, yeah, like proper, yeah, new story DLC. Yeah, because yeah. that's personally w- what I want now. Obviously, I- I'm excited about Heist, but I don't know how good they're going to be and how many there's going to be. But yeah, paid DLC yeah. is what I want from GTA because um, th- this is my biggest hope, and I've, t- I've told you this before, Jake. But I want something a bit like the Undead Nightmare in Red Dead Redemption, but for GTA. Yeah, with yeah. With zombies, that'd I think so that would be amazing. Cool. Have like a zombie evasion. Yeah, that would uh, be that would be freaking oh my God. awesome. That'd be so good. That'd be so good. So here's but hoping the thing that is, we might do that, but you it never wouldn't, know. You say that, it wouldn't surprise me, because there's a part in GTA 5 in the story where you go to a chemical lab and you pick up, like, this test tube. And I can't remember that guy's name. He's, like, the real dickhead detective guy. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. And he's like, don't drop that tube or something bad will happen. So, you know, they could really go off something with that, like... A kind of alternative story if Michael dropped that tube. Yeah, right there. And it basically and turned everyone into The whole into city gets infected yeah. and your Michael, Francis and Trevor, they're somehow immune and they've got to survive in the zombie apocalypse. Like, that is so freaking awesome! Rockstar, hire me now! Who's Francis? <laughs> Jake? Oh. It's, the bla- it's the black guy, isn't it? <laughs> no. Isn't it's his fr- name? It's Franklin. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah, that guy. <laughs> Frankly, the, the yeah, why do I think Francis? Yeah, it's because Franklin and Fran- Yeah, it's because they, they both, both start be- with they, an they F. start. They 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 begin with Fran, Fran. Yeah. So. 
I suppose, <laughs> you know, sort of frog as well, you know, with FR. Yeah. Anyway. But, yeah, that'd be awesome. That's that. So he's hoping it could be that, but you never know. And then, obviously, GTA 5 PC was delayed. That's now again. coming out in April. Uh, April 14th. Do you think it will ever come out? I don't. I, I think it will just be forever until it comes out. It will probably get held back again. <laughs> That's the thing. They keep announcing these, like, dates. Like, it seems to be, like, every time they delay it, it's, like, a month later. And then it finally comes to that day. And then, nope! Got to wait another month now. <laughs> I, I personally think that, that they'll come out and be like, yeah, it's going to come out in 2016 now. Sorry. But, yeah. That's been delayed again. I can't really say much about that, but <laughs> I can't believe that. I can't believe that's been held back so long. Like it's been it's been yeah. like a year and a half since GTA five come out. Like by the time it comes out, it'll be going on almost two years. Of that. Well, not quite, but still. <laughs> GTA seven will be out. Yeah, if if I can help it. <laughs> GTA six will almost be made by then probably. Well probably not. I, I said know, seven. Though. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm <laughs> being serious though, like <laughs> No, well, anyway, yeah, that's been delayed, so... Anyway, next topic. We're going on to... Batman. Batman. <laughs> Batman Arkham Knight. Yeah. I just wanted to make a quick point of this, that this is going to be the first ever Batman Arkham game to have an 18 rating. It's <gasps> an 18. Oh, my God. Adult, mature... Bat- 18. Like, what's Batman doing? What's he doing? Exactly. In this game? What's he doing? And in this game? I think I know why. Because he hooks up with Harley Quinn. And there's a sex scene. <laughs> oh, I fucking hell. <laughs> anyway, I think I know why. Why? This is just this is just theories and stuff. What I've come up with myself, but because it's based on Scarecrow, right. fear factor. It's gonna have uh, horror elements, you know. It might do. And I'm not, I'm not even joking. Fucking scare! Have you seen Scarecrow? Have you seen the new Batman trailer? What yeah. they uh, that they released today? Yeah, the one, the one, the one that came out today. Yeah. Mm. Well, today when this is recorded, which yeah. is the 25th. Yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah, he's freaking scary. He, he's well scary. Well, I was like, oh shit! Scary, isn't he? Look at him. That's what he's always like. Well, no, he normally has, like, a, like, just, a, like, a hay mask on. But he doesn't have that on. He, mm. He's, like, a skeleton. He's, like, some zombie thing. He's really scary. <laughs> yeah. Like, well, because and, it's kind of strange, though. Like, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I guess you could be right that there could be some sort of horror, horror sort of, like, elements in the game. But um, I know uh, Rocksteady were actually... Um, talking about why it was why it wasn't 18 and they said that the way they wanted to tell the story that it just happened that it made it to be an 18 so i don't know what they mean by that i suppose you know you could be right there like just because it has horror maybe or i guess yeah because it's it's a scarecrow scarecrow has nightmare gas you know you know Mm. nightmare gas (laughs) (laughs) nightmare (laughs) gas you know a nightmare it's going to be a nightmare. It's not going to be bunnies but and stuff. So I can imagine seem... that there's going to be some moments in the game where some screwed up stuff is going to happen. If there's yeah. not, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, because <laughs> I, can't, I can't really think what else would make it be an 18. Because obviously the pure well, combat, the they've, game, they've, unless it's much more bloody They've redesigned or or... some of the characters, as you could tell. Like I think it generally is the fear factor. Because Two-Faced... Two Face looks more messed up now. He looks really gory, like his whole face, like it is pretty gory. As yeah. before, it wasn't really like that. It was kind of just like I don't know. It was a bit pinkish and it was kind of scarred a bit. But this, you can, it, it is like his actual flesh, if you get what I mean. Like they kind of redone him. So I, I generally think it probably is because. Of the fear stuff. More horror, more gore, pretty much. Well, I don't know, because yeah. like, what I think would be really cool would be if you, like, beat someone up and, like, the blood comes out of them and stuff like that. Like, that'd be awesome. Yeah, I mean, they like, might they have even... That. They might have e- they might have even done that now there's well, an 18 they rating. I mean... I don't, I don't think they have, oh. because, because all, all the gameplay they've showed, that's never been a thing, so... Yeah. 
but, but anyway yeah I just wanted to make a quick point of that yeah, so. I do think it's a bit strange because obviously there probably are fans of Batman who are younger and like maybe their parents won't let them buy the game because it's, it's an 18 which is kind of a shame but you know if, if that's what they, what they want to do power to them you know I, you know that's, that's, that's yeah. good so I like I, I like violent video games so yeah that's good <laughs> more violent oh, it's not it's not it's not a matter of violence it's it probably just, is it just Dunno. obviously just might, might it just might make it a better game yeah good you know they can really explore a lot of stuff now what yeah. they couldn't do with the age 15 rating maybe they can run over people in the Batmobile maybe that's why yeah like, you probably can like... <laughs> but anyway right so there's that <laughs> Right, yeah. this has caused a a small spark, I guess. And this is um, Telltale and Liongate making a new game slash TV show. TV show? Yep. What? You heard me right. Yep. And they've. This is just the project name. This isn't the official name, but they're calling it at the moment the Super Show. Right. And pretty much, this is their ambition for it, and what they have planned for it, is that there's going to be a game and a TV show with proper actors, all scripted out and stuff, all shot real life, and the Telltale game, how it is now, like, you know, you can do your choices, you know, the Telltale game engine, you know, all that, and they're going to be combined together. So what do you mean? Right. So like it will run in conjunction with the show or? I I don't know. They didn't really go into that. So possibly you probably get the full game and the full kind of series one of it. If you get what I mean of the TV show. Yeah. yeah. But they said that if you watch the TV show first, you're going to see stuff change in your game. If you go to the game second. What? Okay. How does that make sense? But what, if you play, what? but oh, if you play, so, if so you it, play our game first, you're gonna the choices you make in our game is gonna change stuff in the TV show. What? What? So, so, so the TV show, it's not like it's not even like a real TV show. Like it, it will come with the game, pretty much. You're saying? I, I don't know. I don't it, know. It they haven't do. really said much about yeah. it. They haven't said. They haven't practically said anything about it. That's all they've said. That was that, just what that they kind of wanted very to show ambitious, off about. So I don't know how yeah, true that that's, will be. That, that's but... what I mean. It's caused it's caused the spark because yeah, Telltale are on the roll at the moment. Well, you say I'll give that, them that. They're but they're on the roll. The only thing I worry about, and like I still worry about this, like even now, and like obviously now hearing this, I worry about it even more. Is that I feel that Telltale are, are like. Over like loading yeah. the, the actual workload. Yeah, this, like they're doing this, too this much. What, this is what are. the problem. This is what the problem's got to. Yeah, is that they think they're being too productive now. They're getting a bit big-headed. Yeah, this is what the kind of thing is well, about. Like the spark was kind of gone around this. I don't think that. I, and, I just think that like they're just doing too much. Like they should focus yeah, more they're on working two on or Walking three Dead se- things. Working Walking Dead season three. Game are of Thrones. They, are they working on Walking uh, Dead? We don't, we don't know that. Borderlands. Jake. Do we? Well, of course they are. Well, not necessarily. Well, I mean, that's, that's, like the, that's like their main thing. That's what made them popular, was The it, Walking well, Dead. No, it won't. It was to Back to the Future. <laughs> <laughs> that was actually quite yeah, good, though. They, they're, they're working on so many projects. Yeah. So they're working on well, maybe The Walking Dead, uh, obviously Borderlands, Game of Thrones, Minecraft, this well the Minecraft series, whatever it's called, and now this new thing. So that, that that's a lot to be working on, you know. And yeah. like, it, and it, this seems like too to much. say that this super show, this super show is going to be like mega, like freaking ambitious, yeah. you know, TV show and game, well, which are going to affect one another. It's just yeah. like what. I suppose, you know, we so, can only wait and see what it's like, but who knows? Like, yeah. I, I, I don't know, because, like, I, I still think it's, like, well, like, I'm, I must admit, I'm, I've been impressed with, with the Game of Thrones series and the Borderlands one. Both of them I've been very impressed with, which is good. Uh, yeah. 
that they have the Minecraft one, which is coming up, which I'm very intrigued to see what it's like. <laughs> the Minecraft, Minecraft, the um, story. Yeah, it's uh, what it's called at the moment. I, I don't know if it's going to be officially be called that, but that's what its project name is at the moment. I think that's really interesting, and I, I, I honestly, I'm very excited to see what that's like. It, it could be <laughs> awful, yeah, but I, I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm still very interested to see what it's like, and I probably will buy it to be honest. Still, so yeah. Really. I'll, I'll, I'll have to wait on that one. I'll have to see some sort of gameplay or some shit on that because but. that's like you say. That's just weird. It's it's just weird. Like it's, it's Minecraft. Yeah. Minecraft doesn't have a story or anything. Well, it's just like what? Who knows? Who knows? You know. But yeah. So the the overall that that is very interesting to hear. But yeah. Anyway, next news. Ah, uh, Nintendo. <laughs> the Nintendo stock Everyone problems. Everyone loves Nintendo. Yeah, when they don't fuck up. <laughs> Which is noble. <laughs> the Nintendo stock problems. Holy shit! I have not seen. I. Oh, this has not stopped on Twitter. I have seen so much shit on this constantly. The Nintendo stock problems. What? So holy you mean obviously balls. The lack of stock. You mean? Yeah. Yeah. Like, and I can talk a bit about this because this it's personally affected me. It's affected me because <laughs> I collect the amiibos, and I've had two of my orders cancelled. That's oh. meaning that I've had to go to another seller now to oh. get one of my amiibos. Yeah, like... It's just... It's not on. Well, <laughs> I think it's just quite strange, really. Like, I, I don't really understand um, why it's been a problem. Because... I don't know. Like, cause, um, well... Is, and the, is there a reason behind it? Because I thought I heard yeah, something. Yeah, apparently there is. This is Nintendo's excuse. But, you know, this is just... I think they were kind of lucky. Because I really... I've, I'm calling bullshit. I, I really... Because I've had problems with past amiibos and this was before what what i'm about to tell you was even going on but in america there's uh there's um shipping strikes meaning that the yeah. people who ship all the stock around the country and stuff they're going on strike they're like no nope, we're not shipping any of your products or anything until we get paid more mm. and nintendo have blamed it on that saying oh so our new 3DSs and the Amiibos, they're not getting around, and that's why they're so low on stock. No. But they say that. I, I really though, don't believe that. Well, 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 like, you think about it. They say that, but what about the other Nintendo products? There's been, like, other games and stuff that have come out by Nintendo recently, and they haven't had stock problems with them, so it, it seems a bit strange, well, it? But Well, it's because they fly over. Yeah. They fly their games. Why can't they, they fly Amiibos? With games... With games, they fly them over. Well, why can't they fly the Amiibos? I don't know. I, I can't <laughs> say. It's probably business. It's probably business reasons. What? <laughs> they might <laughs> crash and all the Amiibos fly everywhere. Like, <laughs> Well, yeah, they can't. Yeah, that that probably is one of the reasons. What? You know, Amiibos, they're low on the manufacturing process on some of these as it is. Can you imagine if one of their planes went down and took them <laughs> all with them? <laughs> <laughs> you know, a game, they can just be like, oh, okay, we're just going to get our computer data and just, you know, rehash the game again and send it off. But Amiibos, they take a lot of work to make. You know, they take a lot more effort. So it probably is that reason you've just uh, said. It probably I is because they can't risk, like, you know, a plane crash with all their Amiibos on them. Like, can you imagine <laughs> that, though? Like, if, if a plane crashed full, full of, like, Amiibos, and, like, they all just fell down like on so in someone's back garden, th that would be rich as <laughs> fuck. Can you imagine? <laughs> Like, oh, sweet. But yeah, I can... Yeah. Whole lot of problems with the new 3DSs. And... Well, at least you've got one, so... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and the Amiibos, most, especially this wave. Um, I want to go into this. I've got all of them at the moment, yeah? Have you? I've got all of them sure? at the moment. Yeah, I've got well, all so of them. So, did you get two more mean? since since Saturday? Would have been since Saturday. Because when I went to yours on Saturday, you was missing too, weren't you? 
Yeah, I miss it. Yeah, what I, oh. I was about to go into that. What oh. I mean, I've got them coming. They, oh. they haven't come here yet. They they're coming though. But that's what I mean. Okay. That's what I mean that I was personally affected because oh, the dude. recent ones, uh, the the previous ones I ordered, which is which I like to go into with Shulk, Meta Knight, and King DDD. Right, all three of them got cancelled <laughs> because they were out of stock, even though I pre-ordered them. Right. So I pre-ordered that. My pre-order got cancelled before it was about to be released. So I was just like, for fuck's sake, what the fuck? But I, I got Sonic and Mega Man. You know, which is weird because Nintendo don't even own Sonic and Mega Man. You know, surely, because surely they have to get some sort of rights by Sega and Capcom. Well, they already you know, have, just they? To, to have them in the game in the first place. So. Well, yeah, but I know, but to make products out of them, surely there's more kind of man like you know i, I, don't, I don't, don't know about know. the business but surely there's more to it if you get what i mean to make them well, they're, they're probably you know is, so that you think probably that comes, probably you comes think under that, the like, same category though isn't it they probably signed that in the i guess first so place. but it's just but shulk king dd and meta knight i got my pre-order cancelled which i was pissed off at <laughs> so then i went to um Another seller on eBay, which, you know, he had them. Right. And I'm not going to go into the pricing what I paid for them. <laughs> please, <laughs> please share with us, Jake, how much he paid for it. And no. How much ripped off. D- tell me. If you're not telling me, anyway. that must be bad. A hundred quid. How much? No, it's not. No. More than that. Fucking hell, fine. Anyway, yeah, this 500? is the problem with scal- scalpers. 500? Right. You know... Okay, Meta Knight. Yeah. I paid thirty four. Right. Which you think? Fuck no, that's expensive. Well, yeah, yeah it's a little bit. <laughs> yeah, it is. But that is actually really cheap for what is going now because of the Nintendo stock problem. He's going for like eighty pounds now, which is crazy because, like, in my opinion, yeah, like the, the figures are quite nice. Yeah, don't get me wrong, they're quite nice. Yeah, but. Like, for paying 80 quid for him, you can get some much, much, much better figures than than them, you can, for that yeah. sort of price. Which is kind of crazy that they're going for that much. Because, like, don't but, get me wrong, they're nice, but they're basic. They are. I got Meta Knight for 30. Yeah. Shulk and King DDD I got from the same buyer. And right. I spent £44 on each of them. Ooh. Which, <laughs> you know, you may think, fucking hell, you just spent like 90 pounds on two figures there. Bloody hell, Jake. <laughs> but that Bloody is fucking hell. cheap. That's Bloody cheap. Hell. You may think, that's not cheap. Oh. What the fuck? I'm not even joking. Shulk, there's one on eBay I saw selling for 100 pounds. And it yeah. had bids on it. Had two bids on it, Bloody meaning that hell. people were bidding for that hundred pound Shulk That's Amiibo. Crazy. That is really crazy. I'm, I'm genuinely surprised, like that they're going for that much. But the only worrying thing is, though, that pe- people paying this much f- for these figures, they could be fucked over because Nintendo at any point they could be like, "Yeah, we're we're releasing a load more of these now." Yeah. And, yeah, and then exactly. th- that's, they that's will the crash main worry. Price. They will crash. Yeah, like hell they will, and go back to how much they should be. They'll probably go back to being twenty quid or something. Like they will be. Yeah. So to be honest, like it's kind of bad that people are paying that much for it for these figures, you know? Because like I, I guarantee yeah. Nintendo is, will, is, will will release more. Problem. Like like it's it's not like that that they're never going to release more because because they sell well and they make the money. So why wouldn't they release more? You know, so it's because it's it's like certain characters, like you know, there's because obviously it's gonna cost them money to make these characters, you know, and they they know that there's gonna be characters what won't sell that well. For example, well, Wee Fit Trainer, the Villager, um, Little Mac, uh, what Shulk? You know, those I think they sell well. Not, they're not really popular in the Nintendo franchise. But to be honest, though, Little Mac and Shulk have a bit of a cult following now. They do. Both of them do. <laughs> yeah, do. I know Shulk has. Yeah, Shulk, Shulk has does. like a little following going yeah, on there. Yeah, he does. Because yeah. he's feeling it. 
Back glass. Not not at the moment because of no, fucking cause no Nintendo stock problems. Yeah. But you know, I can say cuz you may f- like I have spent some stupid money on those like, amiibos and probably in total, you know you like, think you, you think probably, why, you've why you spent that like, much but you've probably spent like close to a grand on all them figures <laughs> a grand? He, he probably has <laughs> he probably fucking okay. has which is crazy i've spent okay so i've got you probably spent 800 20, quid haven't you i've got up to 29 right Thousand. you know 29 is how many there are out at the moment i bet you spent like 800 quid on them or something at least right so if I figured this out, do you know what I've spent? probably spent? Like an eight hundred quid, seven hundred quid. No, you have. I've probably you spent up to up to twenty up to twenty nine. I've Sorry. probably spent about six hundred and fifty odd. Ooh, and that's not including the pre-orders I have for the next wave, which is oh like Robin, God. Lucina, Wario. You know, that's another oh. sixty, oh so it God. is probably around seven hundred. I've spent yeah up to like <laughs> number thirty-five, I think it is. Damn, but how? So many yeah, more... I've spent about seven hundred. How many more are going to come out? Like, how many more characters have they got to do? Not many well, more, is there? the or... whole Super Smash Bros. The whole Super Smash Bros. lot. So, how many so characters 50. are there? There's a 50. Is there? Yeah. I didn't know there was that many. Wait, so... But there could be reckon, 51. Do you reckon they'll do because one... Because Mewtwo. For, do you reckon they will, they will do an amiibo for the Miis? That's that's another thing what came to my mind yesterday, actually. I really don't know. I, I mean, d- I technically, they, they are, because, they because are no part of the... Them. But they are part of the Super Smash Bros. set. Yeah, but their no character you can play them. as. No one cares about. Them. No one plays as, as the Mies. No one does, because they're stupid. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, it'll be interesting to see if they will. But yeah, but on to like Mewtwo. I wonder if they'll make a Mewtwo amiibo. Yeah, they will. Because if they do, oh my, <laughs> that'd be sick. <laughs> that is that is gonna be like chaos. I can just picture it now. That is going to be so, so rare. Eh, yeah, I don't know. That. It's Mewtwo. A DLC character. Like, it's just... Oh, I don't even want to get into that. But yeah, but, that's yeah. the Nintendo stock problems. We can probably talk about this like all night, but we probably better stop. So I wasn't being for like three yeah. hours. So. <laughs> but anyway, I, I was going to say something, but then I got distracted i'm just gonna say that i am lucky enough to actually have all the amiibos he's lucky you know, enough to, i know to, to have spent 700 quid on, on, on amiibos <laughs> <laughs> i know that other places they are like you know they can't even get like the basic amiibos like yoshi and stuff like that because they're just well, not available where they are well so i've got i've got one amiibo yeah I've got Kirby. Kirby. Yeah. <laughs> and I know that some of you might comment, Jake, why the fuck have you spent like 700 pounds on all of them? Yeah. Yeah. You will. And I'd sometimes think that by myself, but <laughs> Nintendo, it's a, it's a big part of my life. I grew up on Nintendo. Like, Nintendo was my childhood. And just, I, I just, generally like Nintendo characters and like Bobby said they're actually really cool figures you know they're not they're not shit they're not rushed or anything they're actually really well detailed and I I just I just I like Nintendo you know and the Nintendo characters in the universe so Mm. yeah I I just it just I just kind of grew attached to them and then my rampage started on them do you know who's the most bought amiibo in the UK? Link. Link, yeah. And the funny thing yeah, is, Link. Link is the most bought one in in Japan and America as well. The only territory where Link is not the most bought one is Australia. <laughs> it is. In Australia, right. it was Mario. But in Japan and America, it's Link. Beat Mario. That's, that's saying something, isn't it, right there? That's pretty cool. <laughs> that's kind of funny because it's almost saying that, that like, Link is the most popular Nintendo character even though he shouldn't be technically cause, because Mario's the mascot 
But yeah, what's up with Fuck that? Fuck yeah, shit. Cool. Link's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, apparently a lot of people like Link everywhere, apart apart from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> got one more. This is the last topic, and this is just going to be a fairly brief one, um, which is how much are we willing to pay for games now? And this was sparked by oh, the two Order games, eighteen eighty six and Evolve. And Evolve, yeah. Uh, both two games that come out relatively recently, uh, well, well, like this month, uh, both being full retail release uh, in the UK, I believe they were so both 55, 55 quid. F- were they both 55? Yeah. What, the yeah. order as well? Was, was was it 55? I thought it was 50. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> I don't know, it was probably 55, yeah. Yeah, and obviously in America, they're both $60, which... Yeah, that's that's one thing that sort of bugged me that I want to quickly mention is that in America there's sixty dollars, but if you translate sixty dollars over into pounds, it's not fifty five quid. It's probably sixty dollars, probably about forty odd quid. So so why isn't the games in this country forty odd quid? That's bullshit. I want to say <laughs> that is because we're getting almost charged more than they are in America. But you know, I know it's no one's fault. Well, obviously it's someone's fault who makes the prices of the games. But <laughs> the yeah, government. The com- <laughs> but I, I don't know. The, fuck the government, man. But yeah, like, yeah. that pisses me off because we get we get screwed the over in in video game prices. We we pay the most, so yeah, it, uh, that's what bugs me. But um, but, yeah, I just quickly get yeah, the, get that the main, the, out of the way. But what, yeah, what I mean by that is just how far are we willing to go to like just to pay for a game? What's not even that long? And they're both very I short just... games. Uh, obviously. The well, order clocking in about five hours, isn't it? And the order, oh my! I I I freaking tortured myself. I'm not even joking. I I watched a full five hour let's play, just one video. It's four and a half hours long, right? Of just this guy playing the audio, no commentary, so I could get the full fucking cinematic experience of it. Oh! <laughs> I take it. Oh my like god! Much. I'm not impressed. Yeah. And I am sorry. If you are some PS4 bum boy, you better fuck off now. Because I am going to go into shit about this. <laughs> <laughs> like, I just want to make that clear. I'm not t- attacking PS4. I'm a gamer. I play all games. I have a Wii U. I have an Xbox One. I have a fucking PS4. I play a PS4. You know, so I'm not. I'm not just doing it because i play xbox one the most and i'm an xbox fanboy no i'm not a fanboy at all i play all consoles because that's what a gamer is you know but jesus christ the order 1886 is the power of fucking dog shit i have ever seen well probably not ever seen but jesus christ it is close up there <sighs> like it's not even a freaking game it's a I- movie I have to agree with you on that. Like, it's kind of a shame that, like, it it is very cinematic. And, like, I- I'm quite surprised because, like, there's been... It's been very mixed, the opinion on it. Like, I, but I can see why. Because I can see why that, for example, you're very annoyed. Because it's very cinematic and it's very short. And for 55 quid, not, you think, not is only that, that worth it? And it's not. Not only that. It's fr- there's no gameplay. Mm, it's just QTEs and Good recycled shit yeah um but like i can understand why some people would like it though still like I- i'm trying to think from their point of view like so cert- like you have to think from people who don't have much time to play video games some people like short games which sounds weird because obviously you pay that money for it yeah, but some I'm, people haven't got much time they i like know short but games. you know they? you're technically paying like it's it's roughly five to six hours okay so you're roughly paying ten pounds just to play one hour of that game. Yeah, and I suppose another bad thing about it is that once you play it, there's no replayability. That's it. It's just single player. There's no online, as far as I know. Is there no online? Is there? No. No. That's it. it's no. Just... So just single player. And I can see why some people were pissed because before the game came out, I must admit it did look good. Like it looked interesting and. I, I normally yeah. like cinematic games, but this gets to a point where it goes from being a cinematic game to being a movie. Which so that's just, more what just it's like. taking you right out of it. Like, yeah. literally, you wouldn't even have to do anything and you'll mm. somehow get into a cutscene. It's just so, like, what? 
it is a shame because it looked good, but you, you know, uh, I personally don't think it's, it's worth to buy it. I think you're better off just watching it on YouTube because you get almost the same experience. So yeah, it's, it's a shame. Yeah. But... yeah, yeah, just watch a let's play on YouTube. Yeah, just consider it's, it as a film. And it's kind of funny because I was actually saying the same. I was saying this sort of sort of like to Jake just just before we started. It's almost like the Order eighteen eighty six is the PS4's equivalent of Xbox One's Rise. Because Rise was an Xbox yeah. One launch title, and once again, it looked very nice, like the Order does, graphics-wise, but the gameplay was very shallow and very cinematic and was very... And very QTEs. Okay. Yeah, a lot of quick-time events. So they're very similar, which is funny. But, uh, yeah, it's a shame. I don't it's think it's just, worth the price. And, it just yeah. annoyed me because the Order 1886... Like you said, it's just a movie. It's just filled with quick time events. Even quick time events where you just think, really? I needed to do a quick time event there? Yeah. It's just like, what? Why? But it's just like, there's like point. no story. There's no story. Yeah. There's no story. I, I, I've I literally just finished watching it like a couple hours ago just so I can talk about this in this podcast. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> it's none of it is explained. It's the fucking black water elixir thing they have, which magically heals all their wounds, that is never mentioned. What the fuck is that? I would like to know what I'm drinking. Why is this made? Why do I have monster. this? Like that, monster. It's just like what? Monster. Why? Why? <laughs> it's monster. You know what's this <laughs> magical potion thing? What can magically heal like fucking ribs missing? You know, it's just. Okay. Why Jake. is that? Why isn't that explained in the game? It's just okay. <laughs> why? Why did they show all these hybrids from. and hybrids and vampires? Which you know, I freaking love that sort of stuff. You know, the gothic sort of stuff. Yeah, but they shame, they went but... right off that and just went, oh, let's just shoot rebels. It's just yeah. like it's a shame, it's just... but. I do think that with a lot of work, that it could turn into a good franchise, but it needs work. It does because, like, the, the groundwork's there. Yeah. I think, and I think if a lot of if, if enough efforts put into it, it could make a brilliant game. But it's just yeah, in the it's sequel, disappointing. Yeah, it's just disappointing. Cliffhanger. Yeah, but obviously, which I, I think... must say is was the shittest ending ever. Like, I'm even okay. gonna throw that out there. <laughs> like, I was not impressed. I was expecting to have some, you know, amazing ending or just some sort of ending to kind of be like, okay, that was worth it. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It was a recycled quick time event boss battle from what you play in level one. Yeah, and then but... it just ends. Credits. Roll credits. Done. Bye. Okay. Well, one last thing we want to talk about, obviously talking about games that aren't worth the price, uh, Evolve. Now, this this bugs me because Evolve has actually had very good feedback from a lot of big companies. Got great, great like sort of scores from all, all, all the big all the big companies and that sort of thing. Nine out of tens, which I don't think is right because like the, the game there is good, uh, but once again, there's a serious lack of content in it. And there's a shit ton of DLC, which I don't think's right when a game's first come out, you know. Um, and just <laughs> the fact that there's, there's no campaign, there's no proper story campaign, you know, like, this is one thing that bugs me, because they kind of went down the same route that Titanfall did with a campaign, where, like, you're basically just playing and there's a story. I'm doing I'm doing that, that little thing with, with, with right. my fingers to be sarcastic, but there's a story, but you're playing the game... Like you always do, like Titanfall did, but the story's not even there. Right. And uh, other than that, you're basically just it's just evolve, like the like it was in the beta when when we played, and you pay sixty quid for that, fifty five quid for that. Uh, there's even editions where you pay almost a hundred quid for it, which is crazy, with all the DLC and stuff. But uh, yeah. Like it, it's a shame because the gameplay is good, but it's serious lack. Of, it has a serious lack of content. It does serious lack, yeah. which is a shame. Because and one thing that's crazy: if you pay for the um, the edition, like the most expensive edition, yeah, which unlocks everything off the bat, yeah, 
all the cosmetic, all, right. all the cosmetic DLC, all all the hunters because there's twelve hunters and like three monsters in total, or four monsters in total. If you buy that, when you play the game, you have nothing to unlock because you've already unlocked it all. So it's all done <laughs> for you. So like you're basically paying to unlock straight away the stuff that you that you would get for progressing in the game. So it takes away the progression. So you have <laughs> nothing to do apart from just play it. And like, yeah. th- th- it's good, but like, it's just got so many things wrong with it. Like, just because the fact that like, it entirely depends on, on the players you play with and everything. You know, it's just a shame because it is good, but you need friends, and it certainly isn't worth fifty-five quid, sixty quid. No way. And I'm disappointed with it overall. Towards the end of the podcast, we had connection issues, but luckily the only thing what was cut out was the goodbye at the end. Um, so, if you have any opinions on what you think about these different topics, what was talked about in this podcast, please leave them in the comment section below. I'd love to read all your different opinions on the different topics. Um, but other than that, this is Jake Kelly bidding you a farewell. So, see you later, guys. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Oh, okay, come on, I can win this, come on. Come on! Oh, it's gonna be close, dude, it's gonna be close. <gasps> oh, it's oh, one goal! No! <laughs> no! Five <laughs> points! Oh, damn it. I can't believe that. How did I manage to score an own goal? Come on. I can't, oh. God damn it, dude. Thanks for five points! Oh, yeah. oh, is that five or three?